Hey everybody, it's Chris and Amanda, and guess where we are? We are in Iceland. What? That's what? We're not at Disneyland anymore. No, no, we are in Iceland. We just barely landed. We landed about an hour and 40 minutes ago from the airport. We just landed. We had this amazing opportunity to come here to Iceland. We are going to be showing you some really cool things the next couple of days. One, we're going to go to one of the world's best bubble hotels. If you don't know what a bubble hotel is, stay tuned to see that in a couple of days. We're also going to be doing some hiking. So I'm mad, some really cool hiking up here. But our first stop that we're going to is a place called Sugar Top Mountain. It looks like somebody poured a bunch of sugar. We're gonna do a little bit of hiking. We got Miles, he's asleep in the back seat. And we're gonna turn the camera around so you can see this amazing view. And we're just gonna take you along with us to these, all these cool opportunities we have here in Iceland. Iceland! All right, so we've been driving for how long now? About an hour and 45 minutes. An hour and 45 minutes. It was pitch black when we started driving, it was super dark. So the sun came up here at like 8.30 this morning, which is so funny. And we're in the countryside, so we passed the capital city, um, but it was too dark to show it anything. And now it just looks like we're in the country, we're right by the water, right on the edge of the water. And I can't pronounce anything, but we're heading to, I think it's like Snif Sniflessness or Sniflessness Peninsula. Uh, to go to the Kirkufelt uh, Mountain. Again, I can't pronounce any of those names, but it's pretty. Oh, sheep. How cute. Okay, so we are almost to our destination, but this is part of our destination. So as we drive um, to the mountain, this is a lava field. It's 4,000 years old, and it's named after a Viking. So it's ber uh, Berserk. Oh man, I can't even say that. But it's named after a champion Viking warrior who fought in a frenzy, Berserker. So this is the lava field named after a Viking. And it's cool, like this is otherworldly. I feel like we are on a totally different planet than planet Earth. This. this is the place that we were heading to. Look how gorgeous this is right on the water. There's a little town. Um, that's the mountain that was calling my name that I wanted to come see. This took us like three hours to get here. <clears throat> Maybe um, even a little bit more. But you, you can look at the snow top mountains. There is a huge waterfall over there. So cool. Sure. And it's hard to tell, but there's waterfalls everywhere. Like that, there's waterfalls coming down here. And then there's a huge one coming right there. See, look at that. So pretty. They're everywhere. Everywhere you look, there are waterfalls. There's more up here. And then these are the Icelandic horses. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. I feel like we need to stop. This isn't doing good video because you guys can't even see anything, but we'll stop and get kind of better video of um, everything that we're here to see. We've stopped here to look at this church. Amanda loves these old churches and this the beautiful background. Look at this like this little city. It's just, it's oh, just it's like a- It's not even a city, a village. It's not a village. It's so quiet. It's very quiet. It's 10.30 in the morning, but it's very quiet. Look at this. It's pretty. Okay, we just had the most delicious breakfast at the Harbor Cafe. That's what it was called. It was, well, it was brunch. Lunch. It was, like a teeny it was lunch. Turn right. This is, or Amanda wanted us to come out here. It's a little teeny tiny town village. Village. This is like. And we're gonna go look at some waterfalls now. Seaside Village. Seaside Village. We, we saw a church. We and saw the church and brunch. Kids playing at school, yeah. and the lunch was amazing. It was seriously delicious we had paninis and a salad and a fruit smoothie and it was so good it tasted healthy it was so delicious they don't delicious. put any sugar in the smoothie no Head because like, the whole meal just then tastes it's turn so right. healthy and here is the village and I loved seeing the kids Head at school we didn't film them of course we want to keep their in 150 back. meters um, we turn right the and they were the kids were playing on the recess and they were singing and I mean it's like it sounded like they're like turn right what it sounded like then it was like turn right da, da, like they were all singing the same way, but it was it was so cute. And look at the water, the houses on the water, and then there's boats, of course, on the water. 
Head southeast. It just smells like you would expect it to. It just smells like fresh, cold sea air. It's amazing. And it's so quiet here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How is this place real? This is not real. Oh my gosh. Look at these horses and look at that beautiful waterfall in the background. Oh my gosh. This cannot be a real place. I'm dreaming. This is too much. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at this horse. Hi baby. Oh, you want some love, you do. Hi sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how cute you are. You know you're cute. You know you're cute. Yes, you Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You do. Oh, you got some scratches. And it's so fuzzy. Look at you. Look at that waterfall, guys. It's so fuzzy. like a little one and a bigger one. We've walked into this little teeny tiny grocery store just to look around. The main reason we stopped is Amanda wants chocolate. The Icelandic chocolate. Icelandic chocolate. Yes. That's what I want. That's the whole reason we stopped. Just I go, want one with sea out, salt. Yeah, check out this like this cheese. So cool. This is, a little, this is like the little grocery store, guys. It's fun. I think that's milk. <laughs> okay, so what reason we stopped? Dark chocolate. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate with sea salt and caramel. I think this is gonna be the winner. That's what I wanted. That's be the winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Before we drive one inch further, Amanda's like, we have to try this one. And she said that this is what we have to try. Because why? We're by the sea. We're by the sea, so we have to try the sea salt caramel. Makes sense. That makes so much sense. So good. So Icelandic good. Chocolate. Okay, opening it up. Let's open it up. And I wish I could pronounce Oops. the little village oh, no. that we're in. Oh no, did you drop the Icelandic chocolate with I, sea salt caramel? I, I dropped the Icelandic chocolate with sea salt caramel. If you guys like, what do you guys, are you more milk chocolate or dark chocolate? I'm dark chocolate, but this is milk, which is still good. I wish I could pronounce where we're at, but it's like oh. the snail, 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 snail. I, I feel like okay. I should go first. Okay. Ooh, it's. Oh, she broke it. Ah! Can I try? Of yeah, course. of course. Yay. Get that piece right there. Get that little. Mm. Oh. It's really oh, good. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> Okay, give that piece a little guy. That is so good. That is so good. Mm -mm. It's got a little bit of a different flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Very so good. good. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yes. This is so delicious. Let's see it. This is so good. It tastes different, but it, it is, is so good. We're going to have to bring some of these home. This is going to sound weird, mm -hmm. and this might not make any sense, but. When I first took a little bite, it almost had a little bit of like a licorice flavor to it, like a dark licorice. Hmm. And then it disappeared real quick. And then just, I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Caramel? Yeah, caramel. Good, mm -hmm. good description. Mm -hmm. Look at this mountain. You look right over there, there's like waterfalls. I mean, there's waterfalls everywhere you turn. Look over there, there's waterfall. Look over there, there's waterfall. Waterfall. Just anywhere you look. The water is so dark, it's almost like black. You can't even see it. Like you can't see like deep into it. This looks almost unearthly. This mountain here is called Kirktuville. And it's also known as the Church Mountain. And sometimes people call it the Sugar Top. And people can, you can climb all the way up to the top. Uh, and they say that more people have a hard time coming down than they do coming up because it's so steep that it's, uh, it's way more intimidating climbing down than it is going up. Very interesting, though.
It's the most photographed mountain in Iceland. It was also in Game of Thrones. Uh, and I'm sad to say, you know, I've actually never seen Game of Thrones. My one friend Randy's always telling me to watch it. He's like, it's so good. But I've never seen it. But it is the most photographed mountain here in all of Iceland. This is too pretty. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my goodness. And right across the mountain are these waterfalls. So we're gonna go check out the waterfalls. Oh, so sweet. And then, oh. And then we get to come around the mountain. This really looks like sugar top now from this side. We are now hiking. There's the sugar top. That's so cool. Now we're hiking to see these amazing waterfalls. And there's, there comes Amanda. She's in a height of glory. This is like her. Oh my gosh, you guys. This, this is like the upper falls. I think I'm down here, it's like the little lower falls. Here, this is, I know our camera's probably not capturing all this. It's really beautiful. This is just, it's too much. And I keep saying otherworldly, but it really is like a different planet. I love that lake right there. It's glass. And if you look down, you can see the mountains reflected in the water. Oh my God. And here's some lower falls. Wow. This is so cool and I love that it's a really like misty day so it just seems really misty and magical and mysterious. I bet this is gorgeous in the springtime. I saw pictures of it that was really green and had flowers. We're here in October, end of October to kind of give you a feel but I love this vibe. Like I love, I just, I love it. I love even the golden tones, the misty, like there's mist on the mountains. See all the mist. It just makes it feel just really otherworldly. You guys should tell how many times I say that. <laughs> it just fits. So when we were late, we're driving on this peninsula here at Iceland, and we're talking about all the different things we can do for the day. And one of the things we saw was caves. <laughs> and Miles is like, we gotta do the caves. Okay, yeah. Same thing. That's what we're doing. So we are about to do this cave right here, guys. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's talk about clothes for a second. Okay. Okay, so I packed a ton of warm clothes. Here's the problem though. <laughs> like, you get warm in the car, so you get hot in the car, and then when you come outside, you're freezing cold. So Miles has like three layers on, right? He's got um, an under layer, sweats layer, and then like Hello. a winter coat layer. I want to put my three layers on, but then when I get in the car, it's too hot. I guess we just won't keep the heat on. I don't know. I mean, dilemma, dilemma. But with that being said, when you are packing for Iceland, you want layers. So you can take them off, put them on, depending on where you go, because um, it's cold. And it's cold and windy most of, most of the year. It's October right now, and it's like 32 degrees. So... Um, have layers that you can take on and off to stay nice and warm. All right, this is sweet. Yeah, it, look, we are in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. Look. Look, look, look at those two little rocks right there. There's how many cars? One, two, three, four, five. Five cars, and <laughs> one of them is a worker. And here it is. Let's do it. All right, so let's see what you got. How is it? Let's see your helmet. Look good. You got a flashlight? Yeah. Little guy, you got your helmet? The flashlight? Oh, it looks so good. And we are now going into the entrance of the cave. And that is it. It's still an active volcano, they said. Um, so that's kind of crazy. This is all lava tubes. Easy job for me, finally. This is the lava tube. We, we have to go down the stairs to go down into it. First one and the second staircases are 12 and a half meters long, so much longer than the first one. And then we're gonna be 35 meters below surface and 30 meters above sea level. So switch the flashlight, and then there you go. I'm scared. Oh, it's so exciting, isn't it? 
There's a bunch of people coming down. Looks awesome. This is crazy. It's cold down here. Um, it's dripping in water because it's raining today. And she says that when it rains, it, the, the drips down here in the cave. Whoa, look at this. It's huge. This room we're in is called Boulder's Living Room. Boulder is the name of a troll, and they said this is his home. The shape of a full circle in this part of the tube, what means that the lava was creating here a lava pool. A lava pool is built first when the lava was entering. At one moment, it was slowed down by the lowest part where we needed to duck down. But quite a lot of lava kept entering this area, but it couldn't move so fast enough to that small hole. There's this white color here. That's bacteria. It's the only living thing in this particular cave. It's too cold for bats. Um, they can't live here. But the bacteria, it's harmless to humans. It eats the minerals left over by the lava. That's why you get that, um, the, it's kind of the white glowing area. Now they just can let explore by ourselves. Look at this, our tour guide's like, you gotta check this out. These are like lava stalagmites. Okay, this is the strangest thing. That looks so Stalagmite. weird. Stalagmites, they're from but the ground. lava. It's the ground, and they're, yeah, stalactites. I've, I've never seen a stalagmite. Wait, what are the tights on top? Tights hang yeah. up from the ceiling. Yeah, they like, hang tight. Hang tight, yeah. and stalagmites. <laughs> And Look at that. Point up from the ground. It almost looks like they're growing yeah. like the tree. Yeah. It's kind of creepy looking. Like, I look creepy, but yeah. Lit up the chisel. Yeah. Massive yeah. powered yeah. flashlights. Yeah. You just lit up the tube. Whoa. You like it? <laughs> Good job, Miles. Beautiful. <laughs> we just, we found some bones in the cave. Oh my gosh. What are those bones? Look at those bones. <gasps> no. Yes. Now we're going to the lower part of this cave. Wow. Look, does she lit up this huge giant corridor here? All right, so we found out that those bones were from an Arctic fox that fell down the cave. Now, this is a very wide corridor. And it was made by the lava, obviously. But you notice, if you notice like here on the side, see like those lines, just kind of like lines moving along. That was means that it was a lava river and it was flowing very fast because the lines are really pronounced. She says it's probably flowing between 20 and 25 kilometers per hour. Now we're gonna go down here and head down to a little deeper part of the cave. There's Amanda and Miles doing so great. There is like no lights at all. So I mean like, I'm gonna, this is behind us. There's like nothing. So you shine the light back there. There's like nothing. It's so dark. Look at this. It's like, yeah. There's a little bit of a red tint to it. She just said this because there's iron in the minerals. Wow. All right. So now we're to a second step. Of, second cool. step of stairs. It's 57 stairs down. Super high up. We're this way awesome. high up. Look at that. Look how. Look at where they Hello. are. Hello. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so We're cool. way up here. There's a lot of stairs. You okay? Yep. Look at this. All the way down there. Turn off all our flashlights.
flashlights, cameras, phones, watches, everything that produces some kind of light needs to be turned off. Okay. Great. Adesso okay. mi sto cercando un posto dove essere stabili con i piedi perché chiudiamo per un momento le luci. Sì. 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 So, what you can do, you can try to close your eyes, then to open them, you're going to see zero difference. It's a beautiful place to meditate or to take a nap. You can choose what you need. Okay, provate a chiudere gli occhi un attimo e vedere cosa succede. Ah! It was pitch black, you couldn't see anything. So I just opened and closed as soon as I could see him. The stairs that came down. The lava, she says, would have came off and it would have been an actual lava flow. That's why behind it you can see the red where it fell. A lava fall. How cool is that? We're now going back up the stairs. what we saw down here. Now we're going way, way back up. She says that the lava would have flowed right off here, right at the edge, making a lava fall. How cool is that? This is, this is supposed to look like a little bit like a troll. Yeah. And if you come closer, like if you just come into the front, uh -huh. it looks like a troll. Oh, really? But really? I'm always saying at least it's smiling in this area. Yeah. So at it's least? It's welcome in a lava tube or in a this lava is the biggest, in uh, Iceland. This is the biggest stalagmite. It's quite protected because back in the past we had a lot of problems with people breaking a lot of stalagmites and taking like souvenirs. But this one... She, the guy told us that the temperature in the cave is always between 0 and 4 degrees Celsius. So I don't, I know zero, so like 32. I don't know what that I means in Fahrenheit. I swear I saw something rainbow. I swear I saw something. I don't know what it was. Well, she's talking to Wayne to himself. Yes, we just have to find out. All in there. You want to take us to the surface? Sure. Yeah, come on. All right, Miles. He's leading the way. There is another cave right here. She says, it's a tube, it's very narrow, and it's quite dangerous because you have to crawl and lay on your back wow. and, and uh, scooch in. And that's how we came in right there, that little door right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're each choosing activities we want to do today. Miles chose the cave. The next one is what Amanda wanted to do, probably the very most. She wants, it's this church, and it's all black. And uh, she thinks that's really cool, so we're gonna go see the black church from the 1700s. I gotta do a recap, babe. What'd you think? That is so cool. That's just surreal being in a real life lava tube cave that was formed by this volcano right here. That's still, it's still a volcano. I mean, it's sleeping, but it's She says it's got its magna core still, the magma, but it's, magma it's still dormant. It's churning, but it's just, you know, dormant, sleeping right now. I mean, that was just surreal. And like the stairs were so high and it's just creepy, like seeing the magma stalactites and stalagmites. And it's just, I mean, it's just, crazy i was cold though we were talking about clothing before i went and got my like extra sweater on and my gloves and i'm glad that i did because it is cold here you guys here we are this is what amanda wanted to see she's excited you ready <laughs> yes. look at this it's like this church it's black and it's got like little cross on top. Now Amanda watched a TV show a long time ago called Midnight Mass about this little church on an island. It got overrun by vampires and she loved it. <laughs> this looks so and she goes, this is exactly it what it is. It. This is it. It has like a little cemetery right over here. We're gonna walk around and show it to you. It was built in 1847. You can see that right up there. She is loving this. this. Look at that. It's cool. It just almost looks like it's out of a painting.
if you look carefully, you can see like one little light on inside. Pink. This is just like Midnight Mass. The, 1000%. And man is like, she's like having like this fantasy, like there's a vampire. I'm really, I mean, I'm, I love that we watched that show before being here. I mean, this has nothing to do with vampires and Midnight Mass, but it is, it is awesome. Looks so cool. Those vibes. I just, it's just, it's like it's such a fun, I don't know, fun's not the right word, just such an amazing feeling. I like this church a lot. It's got like this lava rock wall around the whole area and the church and the cemetery area. I love it. Amanda got a very special treat. They don't normally open the church up, but she was talking to that lady and she told the lady how much she loves this church. And the lady's like, you know what, you can come inside. So Amanda was able to go inside and see the church. I was saying how you got that special treat. That was such a treat. Oh my gosh. That is such a treat. It's a working church. Yeah, they're, they're gonna have a wedding here. And they're they about said. to have a wedding here. Yeah. This is really surreal. This is really surreal. Okay, so now we have about a two and a half hour drive back to the capital of Iceland. I think it's called Reykjavik. 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 And we have a hotel there. We'll be spending the night there. Once we get there, we're gonna turn the camera off. Once we get there, we'll kind of do a recap and tell you what we have going on the rest of this week. Dude, we are gonna be doing one of the most amazing bubble hotel tours of all time. I don't even know anything about it. It's gonna be so fun. Amanda has it all planned. We'll talk about that and some other things we'll be doing. All right, guys, we'll see you when we get back to the capital, Reykjavik. Okay, we were just talking about how it's going to be dark when we get to Reykjavik, so we're just going to wrap up here, but I'm so excited for the next few days. We've got some crazy cool things. This was the best day, and we just barely scratched the surface for Iceland, so stay tuned and make sure that you have the subscribe button click so you don't miss a video of ours. Thanks for watching. Bye.